There we go. I love that so much. I love that outfits too. <laughs> Look at its little jacket. Love it. <laughs> Picnics. Farmer's market. Grocery market. And wait for it. This guy looks like a carrot. Which I think is so funny. <laughs> hyped so that's the new trailer um keep in mind i believe if you watch on the sims channel they do have um different music i think so i'm gonna watch it as well on the official sims channel to see the new music um but guys thank you so much for the massive hype train and valerie's mom thank you so much for gifting out um the community subs really appreciate you uh that is so sweet of you how Oh my gosh, that was actually 10 gifted subs. Holy dooly. Kamoshi. Yo, yo. Yay. <laughs> when does it come out? Um, I think it's the, I think it's the 22nd of July. So we do actually have a while to wait. Um, which kind of sucks. It's such a long time to wait. I mean, the thing is. I may get lucky to get an early review copy, hopefully, if I've been a good girl, hopefully, but even still, that's going to be ages away. And I'm a lucky one, so we all have to wait ages. <sighs> but as soon as I can, I'll be letting you know all the details. Um, right now, I know Singu Romeo on Twitter answered some questions. I think he may be the leading producer on the pack. I'm not sure. Maybe Ninja is allowed to confirm that. Um, but yeah, it looks amazing. Basically, it's a pack where you can live the cottage life and it appears you can um, search for like bunnies in the forest maybe. And ch I don't know, maybe you buy a chicken coop, but the bunnies seem to be like animals that come out of these logs and maybe you can befriend them and kind of take them home. Um, it also looks like the outfits you may be able to create or you may be able to dress and name the animals, I think they said. <laughs> the jelly sad cake is nightmare fuel. Um, I hope you get the early access like a month before it comes out. I know, I wish, but like, look, early to get early access is lucky enough even if it's a day before, even if it's two hours before, I will be so excited, but wouldn't that be great if they're like, wouldn't it be great if they're like, you know what, let's just release it early. Has anyone ever heard of a game coming out early? 
Um, the other really interesting thing about this is it definitely feels like there's a strong story, book, nursery rhyme type of look and feel about it. Like I've seen references to Snow White, Peter Rabbit. Uh, I feel like it's really British looking, but I don't know if that was deliberate. Um, Alice in Wonderland reference, they say go down the rabbit hole. So I am curious to see if there is any extra element of fantasy that they haven't shown, even if it's really small. Um, but then again, I feel like they probably would have shown it in the trailer. Yes, so much Peter Rabbit vibes, right? It's like Yorkshire or the Lake District. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I guess the Peter Rabbit thing feels very, very British. <laughs> um, so yeah, should do we want to go through the trailer? The Rainbow Cow. I know, the Rainbow Cow looks amazing. And also, um, I did a reaction to uh, Arnie, the modder, has created a farming mod that releases soon. And literally... Yesterday, I did a trailer reaction to their mod trailer that is farming. And the timing of this is just crazy that this is coming out, like, around the same time. I kind of, I feel so bad for Arnie, but at the same time, I feel like they'll be able to tweak their mod utilizing a lot of this, which will be really exciting to see as well. So I think it'll actually be able to be a positive thing, too. Um, but I was like, oh my god, because <laughs> I know Arnie's worked on that for, for months and months and months and months. Um, so yeah, let's look through it. I've had a Peter Rabbit bedroom for the first seven years of my life. Oh, that's so cute. Arnie's is quite different with what it includes. That's true. Like Arnie has the inclusion of horses and the semi-open world, which is definitely a mod type of thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Now, I did see in my comments, someone mentioned they saw a yellow stone. And I actually wonder if they thought this trunk was a, a yellow stone on top of it. I don't know. Has anyone seen a yellow stone? Um, Because I reckon maybe they thought that was a stone on their mobile phone or something. <laughs> um, I'm good today. Thanks, Samara and Carla. I mean, I'm a little bit tired because... I've had a night, that's for sure. But anyway, let's have a look at this beautiful dress. Love the dress, love the earrings, love the hair, it's beautiful. James actually referenced Snow White, I think, when he saw this. Um, no, no one saw the Yellowstone, okay. Um, and then there's the birds flying around, which actually reminds me a little bit of Cinderella. Um, I'm Excuse me, I'm just gonna do makeup while we go through this. So that reminds me of Cinderella a bit. And actually, no, Snow White. Snow White, he referenced. Yeah, and I thought Cinderella with the birds. You wish they'll add horses later. It's really interesting because I've never been into horses in The Sims. I just never played with them. I don't think I owned horses in the sims ever because i know i didn't have em enough money to get all the packs so i'd pick and choose and i just never bought the pets pack but for some reason i'm like so into the idea of farming i don't know if any of you guys are the same you guys think snow white reference for sure um but i mean it could horses could be a future thing for sure um, and then here's our little rabbit, and his little sweater is just so cute. And this rabbit becomes, in the trailer, the subject that you follow and that shows us everything, which I really love. I love the animation, too, with the head tilt. Um, she's, like, really upset at the birds. And can we appreciate her Mary Jane shoes as well? You're more hyped about cows over horses, same. It's funny, every play is different, right? Now look at these rolling hills. It's beautiful, very lush scenery. Uh, I haven't really seen the farming areas of England, but I imagine from seeing it on TV and all of that film, I imagine, you know, that's what they're going for, the lushness. 
the bridge, it looks a little bit more sparse as well um, and big. So I'm curious to see how the lots work. Um, I think everyone wants bigger lots, bigger worlds. I don't know if the game can actually even do that, but I'm curious to see just the layout of everything. And I also really like that there's a lot of rolling hills because one of my pet peeves is that since we've had the terrain tool added, I feel like it doesn't really suit its surroundings. So I wonder if any of the lots already have uneven terrain or if it's still going to be kind of the same thing as flat lots, but having more terrain is going to suit the background more. Um, so it's just 12 lots. Oh, okay. So that's been confirmed. Do we, so it's probably going to be similar to other packs by the sounds of things. There's three neighborhoods with four lots in each. So 12 in total. So that's pretty standard, right? One is 64, 64. Okay. So it's not really any different. It just looks bigger in the trailer. Pretty normal, okay. I love how you guys already know everything about it. Here I am thinking I'm the one covering this, but heck, chat, you should be doing the, the reaction videos and the breakdowns. <laughs> Actually, I'm in Australia, that's my excuse. You guys have been up my whole night, so some of you guys have. So you've had, you've got, you've got to see all the goss. I thought Sim Guru Romeo was working on The Sims 5 because I have not heard from him for ages. Well, it looks like his come back out secretly. He's been working on this. How cute is that like petticoat outfit? So pretty. I love all of these fairy lights and these ruins. Um, they do remind me a little bit of Windenburg, but from this side, I really love seeing kind of that storybook looking carving on the side and the tree on top and how the trees are kind of growing all through it. I'm really excited to visit that lot, hopefully. And then we get kind of our first view of what I assume is some new roofing and kind of the look of build and buy mode, um, judging by the windows and some of the vines, a new door, and then these little bunnies that come in all different colors, I might add. I'm so excited to see that. The flowers are so cute, they are. Go to Sims community to get all the info, nice. Sims community always knows. Also, there's another tree with like a hole in it. Maybe that's the tree that the birds spawn out of. Um, or maybe it's like another rabbit tree. I feel like this the tree stumps might be objects where you can find rabbits. I don't know. But what's this kind of roofing called? It's called thatch roofing. So I assume it might be a new roofing tool, maybe. There are so many new plants too, I'm so excited. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be so exciting. This guy looks like a nice guy. Now this is awesome. A few people, okay, so we, we know, judging by the trailer, that our pond tool is returning to The Sims 4. Cannot wait. People were commenting saying the Sims are swimming in this pond made by the pond tool, but I don't think that, I'm not convinced the Sims will be able to swim in the ponds you create. I think this is just part of the world. Um, from what I understand, I think the tree with lights and a door is for the gnomes. Okay. It looks like one might. No, look at the pond on the farm. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. All right, we'll keep watching. So then we have this town square, uh, really cute outfits. And we see Mrs. Crumplebottom, the return of Mrs. Crumplebottom. Also some really cute outfits here. I love the little mushrooms on the roof up there, so cute. 
And this guy is being inappropriate and she's not having it. Also, I'm pretty sure Lumia created the Mrs. Crumplebottom sim for this trailer. Such a good job. I love her hat. I'm obsessed with her little hat. I really hope that's in Creator Sim. And her pearl necklace. I really hope that's in Creator Sim as well. And look at this. Whack! So funny. So this is a reference to The Sims 1. Mrs. Crumplebottom would like slap your Sim with her handbag. I really didn't think that'd bring it into The Sims 4 because I know they've been... You know, in this day and age, you have to be really careful with... You can't get away with what you used to put in video games, okay, is what I'm trying to say. A lot of gaming publishers will take it a lot... Well, they'll play it more safe, obviously. So I didn't expect this to be in it, but it is, and I'm so happy. <laughs> is that a new tattoo sleeve on his arm? I don't know. I can't tell. What do you guys think? It can't be a British pack without the fancy lady hat. The fancy lady hat is everything. I wonder if the purse will be in Creator Sim. I don't think so. Like, I... I feel like that'll just be for her character. Because then... That would be quite a big feature if they added handbags to create a sim. I feel like there would be more handbags and they'd show it off more. Or maybe they are adding handbags and the handbags open up an interaction where you can slap other sims with it. I mean, I'd be down for that. <laughs> but I think, I agree, that'd be too glitchy as a create a sim item. <laughs> Gemini verse, enjoy your walk. Um, I really like this as well. So it does look like the surroundings are pretty flat, but like, I feel like building with the train matches the background. And this is a house. I love the bunnies across the roof line. I love the chicken coop. I think the, uh, the stables, you place like the stable to go with each animal. So you can place multiple on, of them if you want multiple animals. I think that might be how it works. I'm not sure. Did I build for this one too? No, I was lucky enough to build for the Snowy Escape um, pack. And it's certainly fair that they, you know, they give other people a go at building as well. So um, as much as I would love to build again for a Sims 4 pack, I'm really excited to see other Simmers getting to have a go at it. I know Claire, I saw on Twitter, Claire has built a lot, I think. So I'm really excited to see what she's done. Um, and I also really liked seeing a teaser of some people's reactions to this trailer. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't feel many reactions for that. Like I didn't get it when they did, but I got really excited that they were excited. And I just feel like that was, that was really cool. Oh, hey, Harry's built a lot too. Awesome. And Devin Bumpkin. Oh, cool. That's awesome. I'm really excited to see what they did. Um, a few people were saying they think maybe this vine here is grapes and you can maybe pick from it. I feel like it, I assumed it was a decor item of bluebells. So I don't know. I'm also really curious to see how these crops work because I feel like these crops, like I don't know if this is an item you place or, and then you plant the crops in it. They just look really different to the existing crops and this pail of water, if you can actually use that or if it's decor. I just wanna know how it works. I really want this like right now. Look at the mushrooms, so cute. You think it's wisteria? Maybe. Maybe. It's a garden patch. So you think it's an item like the planter? Maybe. I mean, that would probably work quite well, like a garden patch and then you plant it. Um, and then you guys said to keep an eye on the pond on the farm. Is that here? So, 
this is a ponds tool. Um, oh, it's the other farm pond. So because this is stop motion, you can see it gradually kind of being built. And I mean, I think it's stop motion. Um, I'm so excited for this. Like, this is really something that we've wanted since base game. And I'm just hyped, even though it's taken freaking forever to get it. I'm just happy it's in the game. Like, I hope it's also base game update. I assume it would be. Uh, and I love, like, this decoration of the log in there. I think that's really cool. And, like, the little fishy thing. I love this fencing, too. It's very, like, rustic. There's one screenshot with a kid going in. Okay, I'm really excited to see that. I also love this, too. It looks like there's going to be a lot of really nice new items. Also, oh, there's some sirens going. Oh, yeah, ducks and swans looked like they're in the last um, frame as well. So if we go back... See? Ducks and swans. So cool, right? So then... Scooting forward a bit. Now, kids seem to have a really important role in this pack. Um, they're showing a lot in this, like playing with the animals, like picking up the bunnies. Check out these really, really gorgeous outfits. This little gate. I love that the gate's at the front door too. And that's right, if we watch a little bit further, it looks like kids can cook. The male items look great and the male hair looks really good too. So I know a lot of people were really wanting more male items and I feel like these items are looking strong. He's like, I think I'm gonna grow a pumpkin. Also, I think, I wonder if this log item is an item where rabbits can come out of. Um, and then this does look, oh, maybe you like place these squares as like garden patch items. Maybe, I don't know. You think it's a rabbit house? Mm, maybe. Little clutter item over here. Then we have the llama. The llama looks sick. But the llama doesn't like being sheared like this. And apparently when you shear the llama, you can then, from its wool, <laughs> she, she kind of deserved that, you know? That llama was not happy. I think you can actually use the wool, what was it, to do something, maybe make the animal clothes with? I think there's something you can do with it. And I think I might have seen a reference to nifty knitting as well, that maybe it's compatible with that in some way. The llamas do spit. <laughs> there is a backpack on the kid too. Yeah, that'll be part of the, um, the jumper, I think. Deli, your makeup was on fire in the reaction video. Thank you. I, um, I actually got some new makeup things yesterday, so... I tried them all out, so I'm glad that they looked good. Um, and then I just stayed up really late. Usually when I do reaction videos, I get up like in the middle of the night to do them. In Australia time, sometimes they're like 3 a.m. Um, but this one was at 1 a.m. our time. So I was able to just stay up and get ready. And I slept in yesterday, so I didn't look like I was half dead and rolling out of bed, which was refreshing. Yeah, I know, Nina, I, I feel the same. So then we got little chickens and roosters. Fertilizer, the bunny. I just love this little bunny. So cute, it looks like we've got pumpkins, mushrooms, maybe beans. Uh, it also looks like the pumpkins are growing in different stages and different patches too we love and then we have embroidery and the kid can do the embroidery oh you like the glasses yay thank you um 
So this looks really cute, and it looks like you may also display your embroidery afterwards, which would make sense on the mantelpiece. Uh, and then there's this gorgeous new fireplace. I just, this just makes me want to run away to the country and just live in the country, you know? New picture frame, clock, love that basket with that beautiful throw in there. That box there may be the crochet, I mean, the embroidery craft box. That might be what you use to do the embroidery. The embroidery may be a new skill. You're going to have to restart the decades challenge. This definitely feels like a family legacy challenge kind of pack for sure. Like creating a family and their generations living on a farm, like... Oh my gosh, this might be the first time I want to do a Sims Legacy challenge. <laughs> probably not on, probably not for YouTube, but I don't know. I feel like it would be the pack. If I'm going to do a Legacy challenge, this would be the pack that I started in, probably. Yeah, I think so, Simplicity. Then we have the Fox, and they did make custom animations. Sorry, that's not part of the trailer. That's my video. Um... They made custom animation for this fox and apparently it can get into your chook shed or chicken shed. You guys don't call them chooks in the US. Do you call them chooks in the UK? Chooks. We call them chooks. Um, chooks or chickens. You do now, Juju. Hey Tara, how you doing? Cooperate. Chicken coop, chook coop, chook chook. Um, chucks in the UK? Why don't we call them chooks? I mean, chook is a really fun word to say. Chook chook. I know, right? I actually saw Tara really quickly then. <laughs> Peace and love. <gasps> By the way, frenemies. That's like a whole other discussion for us. Let's focus on this for now. So then the fox can get into your chook shed. The llama's like, oh heck no, that's my friend. And so the llama spits on the fox, which we love. Um, and then the fox runs away. So I really like that the llama is helping out its bunny buddy. I thought that was really nice. You, you're honored, Tara. I know, it's kind of a big deal. That's horrible. <laughs> Big deal for me to know Tara is my mods in the chat. Oh dear. Um, also, anyone in the chat from Victoria slash Melbourne, um, if you don't have any power right now from all of the storms, there, there was a really big storm in Melbourne um, and, a, and a lot of Victoria's out of the States out of power. Um, just sending love to you guys and um stay warm i hope you guys can rug up dandelions imagine if you could make a wish on them now that would be a cute interaction so he's doing some weeding he's taking care of his crops he's singing these pumpkins are huge oh wait what are those plants in the background what are those what are those? Does anyone know what those are? They're not passion fruit plant flowers. They're something else. You still have power? That's good. In real life, llamas protect livestock from fox attacks. So I think it's really cute that they put that in the game. Do they? Oh, man. I didn't know that. You know, higher you have a flood warning and high winds. Oh, no. Oh, they're eggplants. Okay. Eggplant flowers. Or maybe peas. Either or. It's cool. Then we have our chook shed. So this is where I guess you can collect eggs. And I feel like you're going to be able to cook the eggs. Also, the animals will die of old age over time, I think. But um, I don't believe that there's any, like, using your animals as meat in the pack, but I think you can go to the the stores to buy meat. Um, I think that might be how it works. 
isn't her creepy fake meat wool like any girl lifestyle although maybe i'm a bit nervous about that uh and then this little this little eggy hatched so there's a new chook and then we're milking the cow here there's also a little chicken wandering around rabbits um so yeah you can get a cow and you can milk it people i just want to milk a cow do foxes eat chickens uh, let's not mention that cursed item. That item was so disturbing. I don't know why they put that in eco lifestyle. Like, I, I don't understand. I mean, I think it was meant to be humorous, but it was so creepy. Or here's where she misses the bucket, like Ninja was saying. Oh, like it goes to the side. Mm. I mean, you can't waste that milk. But I love the cow. The cow's so cool. I like this little stool as well. And I like that she pats the cow, so it's like a happy cow. Great animations, too. I've milked a cow and a goat in real life, and I can't wait to have my sims do it. That's so cool. And the fact that you can name it. Yeah, apparently you can name your animals. That cow is huge. Mm-hmm. Maybe milking is a skill and she's just not good at it yet. That's possible, actually. Have a fridge here. Uh, someone in my comments said it reminded them of a Smeg fridge. Uh, it definitely has that kind of old 50s vintage fridge look. Juju loves the fridge. And yeah, this is when kids are cooking. Very cool. And I do wonder if the kid is actually on like a little step stool. They might like get a stool out and get up on it. I don't know. The kid just looks quite tall here. Um, that would be really cool if that's the case. I love the kitchen. The kitchen's really nice. I love the timber tops. I love the color. I love the fridge. I love the little egg cups. I reckon these items, just by the placement, are not clutter. I think these are like, all of these items are built into these cabinets. And then there's the jams. And I think, what do you call the jam making in America? You call it like jarring or something? Jarring? Jamming? Canning. Canning. That's one. What did I say? Jarring. <laughs> I mean, jarring, canning. Same, same. So, yeah, you can um, make your own jams, I guess. You're canning. The teapot's really cute as well. I would be really stoked if this teapot is usable, but I don't think it will be. Like the tea maker. Um, so this could also be a skill, maybe, or a hidden skill. Then also note the milk over here. You can probably milk your cow. I think the cow can make flavored milk as well. So maybe depending on what you feed it or I don't know how you nurture it, maybe. And the kids cooking with the egg. Maybe this is a fresh egg from the chicken coop. There'll be jams for jams. I know. And then this looks like dough bread. So baking. Uh, oh, that might be the pale object again. So maybe the pale isn't a working object. Stained glass fox windows. Really nice. I just want this now. I don't want to wait. I love these too. They're very, very cute. Um, and yeah, there's definitely different foods. And then there's the picnic basket too. I love this saucepan. The picnic basket, I believe you can pack and then take with you to any world and any venue so your sims can have a picnic. Romeo said canning will be part of the cooking skill. Oh, okay. So that's not a unique skill. There is going to be another skill. So I wonder what it is going to be. Maybe it's just like a... I don't know, animal focus skill maybe it's gonna be like a crop focus skill I don't know maybe because you can grow bigger crops and smaller crops maybe it's something to do with that I 
embroidery. Oh yeah, it probably is embroidery skill. So then this is the family enjoying a picnic. Looks like no new letterboxes, because this is a base game letterbox, just as a little side note. Um, yummy pie they've made. I have no idea what this is. This, I said in my video, I'm like, this looks like something really weird. Any ideas? Oh, maybe it's like an apple crumble. The other thing is, I, I would have really loved to see like orchard trees. I wonder if you can still use the existing plants as an orchard and cook with them. Beans, bangers, and mash. Maybe it's bangers and mash. Do I think there's going to be a new occult? Some people have been pointing out references to fairies. I don't think there's going to be an occult in this because I feel like they would have shown it if there would be. When do I think the next trailer will be released? Not for a while, I don't think. I, I think that'll be, well, how far is it away from release? Over a month away? Almost a month and a half away. So maybe in three weeks, four weeks, maybe in a month. I don't know, it's six weeks away. Maybe three weeks. It looks like beef or lamb stew. Oh, maybe it's a stew. Oh, and I love, okay, this, this I find so cute. I love animals, okay? I'm like, animals are just as important as humans to me, you know? And sir, so it really warms my heart seeing them in the game that is focused on, you know, life simulation. But this really warms my heart because the bunny rabbit is eating like it's joining in on the picnic, like at the same time as the Sims at the table. And this is what my dog does sometimes when we eat dinner, he'll go to his bowl and he'll eat at the same time as us to be like a part of it. And it just warms my heart. <laughs> I love those little gumboots, by the way. Um, and now he's eating in the town square. Nice transition, segue. Peter Rabbit vibes, absolutely. He keeps randomly popping up, absolutely. Your dog does that too. <laughs> oh, Theo's such a cute name for a rabbit. So back to the town square. It is apparent that there is a, what am I writing, an essay? It is apparent that there's like a pub and this guy, love him. I love this hair, by the way. This hair right here is so, so, so nice. This is the, my favorite hair that I've seen in the pack, actually. And this girl's like braids are so pretty. Um, so this, yeah, this does look a bit like Bangers and Mash. This looks like, I know what this is, but I can't remember the name of it. It's like where it's kind of like a pastry with meat in the middle. Am I going to get early release on this pack? I don't know. I mean, I think so because that's what usually happens. So I hope so. Beef Wellington, that's what it is. Yeah, and I, I love this gnome with the sunflower hat that keeps popping up. Um, also, take note of that little thought bubble back here. So she looks like she's talking about maybe what's upcoming in the trailer, which is like fruit and vegetable competition, or maybe she's just talking about grocery shopping. Love the garlic hanging. So this is where you can buy your groceries. You don't actually have to grow them. You can go purchase them. Um, <laughs> you want a cottage pie in the back? And this girl, I don't know why, but I just feel like I want to be friends with her. She just seems like a nice person <laughs> when you want to befriend your Sims. Oh dear. Um, on here, this looks like it says there's a fruit and veggie show on, something like that. Little ice creams here and little foxes. Um, 
llama, bunny rabbit. And then this looks like it's kind of a festival or a show. What do you guys think this is over here? I couldn't actually figure that out, what it is. Hello from Italy, hello. So this is a competition rating, like who's grown the best pumpkin, the best cabbage, the best eggplant. <laughs> watermelon, mushroom. Wait, is that a watermelon? I don't even know what that is. Um, Like what are these? They look like little bowls. It's a weekly fair. Oh, cool. Pies, maybe? It doesn't look like... I was thinking bobbing apples, but I don't think it's bobbing apples because it would be bigger. Soup tasting? Could be soup tasting. Best pie competition? Maybe. Soups or pies? Um, That is a watermelon, right? So he's like, check out this. Chili competition, stew competition. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it though. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this Sim and her outfit? I really think she is so cute in this dress. Look at the, the Sims in the background having a picnic as well. That's Lumia Sim. I thought it might be. Lumia makes really good sims. Perfection hair, right, cheesy wine? She matches the eggplant, which I love. It's a bit cheeky putting in a big eggplant there. This is maybe my favorite part of the trailer in some ways. I mean, it's there are more things I like in the trailer, but this is like a key part of the trailer I really appreciate because he has a carrot and he looks like a carrot. which I love. And it's kind of sad because everyone else's fruit and vegetables are really big and his carrot's really small. But he's still so proud. And you know, that's what matters. You know, as long as you're proud, that's all that matters. The sweater looks beautiful too. I wonder if he can actually knit that sweater. That's a very cute jumper. Hey, Bryce Supersaurus, good morning. How are you? Yeah, we're, we're just frothing over the, frothing? I haven't said frothing since I was like 18. We're frothing over the new pack. <laughs> it took a lot of work to grow that carrot. I bet it did. And then this looks like the judge. You know, she looks official. She's got a little badge on and a fancy English hat. Love the hats in this pack. Absolutely beautiful. Size does not matter. That is very true. And this huge pumpkin looks like it is the winner of the show. So I imagine if you want to win having the biggest and the best vegetable, even though I do not believe size matters, apparently this lady does. So, you know, I don't think that's fair. I hope that it's not going to be about the biggest. I hope it's about quality, not quantity. But in this instance, this pumpkin has won. And he's looking pretty happy about himself. Love that jumpsuit. So I imagine if you want to win this competition, you're going to have to, you know, Make sure your crops are really well looked after. So you want to fertilize them. You want to give them a lot of love. You've probably got to sing to them. You know, I imagine that's what it's going to take to grow this pumpkin. The crumple bottoms. Yay. Justice for Carrot Man. Carrot Man was rubbed. I mean, honestly, I feel like this guy looks kind of like a jerk. And then this guy looks like kind of weird, but like a really nice sim. Okay. I would have let him win. He looks wholesome, okay? <laughs> I also love this little dress. I'm really excited about the Kaz items. Love this little, this bob and the fringe here. I've been a little bit critical of fringes in The Sims 4. I like the look of this one. 
I get pretty critical when it comes to, to fringes. I don't know, it's just me, but. This, these are the details. <laughs> Carrot guy be like, this guy is not even looking like a pumpkin. So much hate. I know, he didn't even look like his vegetable. <laughs> I mean, at least the eggplant girl looks like her eggplant in terms of coloring. So then we're back to, to where we started with the snow white looking character. Love this rooster. She's just not having a good time with the birds. You know, she got pooped on. Now this rooster's attacking her. His little hat is the cutest thing. So dang cute. And then the rabbit's like, I'm going to yeet out of here. I mean, this is quite scary. I do wonder if he, if there is a death by chicken or rooster because they did, they did say there's a new death type. Um, so it's very possible. Does that rooster have a hat? That rooster does have a hat. Rabbit, I know. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but there's little lanterns in this in this willow tree. And this is actually interesting because this is like a grass bridge. I don't know if that's just for the trailer, but it's kind of cool. Um, and I think these look like berries, maybe mulberries or something. Uh, I think you can go forage in the forest for things. So I imagine if you can make jam, maybe you can do, maybe you can find berries. Um, and this rabbit's also going back into the rabbit hole. And they did say fall down the rabbit hole. So some people are thinking maybe there's a secret world in there because it probably reminds us of base game, how you go through the tree trunk. Uh... I don't know. Maybe there's a secret world. I know if you, I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, we don't get secret worlds anymore. I would like to, so I don't know. Killed by Mrs. Crumplebottom. Oh my gosh, killed by purse attack. That would be so good. That would be so funny. I hope they do that. <laughs> Reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Well, they said fall down the rabbit hole. So would they say that if there isn't anything magical or fantasy in the pack? I'm just thinking of like marketing wise. Is it too misleading to say that? Or if it, or is it not? I feel like just cause there's rabbits in the game, they can say that. I don't think it necessarily means there's gonna be like a hidden world. I would like to see one, but I wouldn't expect one. Some of you guys are saying a gnome world. I hope the rooster can kill you. Oh my god. The new dress looks like Alice. Oh, what else did Romeo say? He said there's gonna be um jobs you can oh he didn't use the word jobs, but he said there's like tasks that the people around the world may ask you to do. So it sounds like there'll probably be Sims who, I don't know, might want you to make some jam or grow some pumpkins or I don't know, something like that, which would be nice. Like, I think it's gonna have that community feel. I think Sim Guru Romeo said the tree trunk is a rabbit house to put in the yard. That's what I think. Oh yeah, he also said there's a new woohoo spot. Um. Maybe you can woohoo on the pumpkin patch. <laughs> like a Stardew Valley board, maybe. What is a hidden world in The Sims? Um, so a hidden world in The Sims, well, base game launched with two hidden worlds where one, you went through like a tree trunk and you open up to like this really cool world um, it's just like hidden, like you have to speak to the tree and then the tree opens up and then you, your sim goes in and it loads into like a lot where it's super magical looking. Um, and then there's another from Oasis Springs. You can get to another world that's a secret world. And I think with Get to Work, was that when they introduced the world of Sixum, which is an alien world you can go to? And this looks really pretty with all the waterfalls. It's like thing over here is kind of cool. 
It's very pretty. Um, I've still never been to Sixum. I mean, it's cool. There's aliens there. Then we have the llamas, and they're now wearing outfits. So I feel like you can knit your animals clothes. Love this hair. I can't wait for that hair. Um, there's the rooster. Look at his little, his little tie. Love the wallpaper too. Ooh, that looks like a new couch. This looks like a new plant as well. And these look like awards you can win. Maybe put up the wall. Put on the wall, sorry. Then there's a rainbow cow, which is quite interesting. I don't know what they've done to this cow, what they've been feeding him, but this guy's ringing his bell. Ring my bell. And he looks pretty chuffed with himself and his cow. Little cow bell on him. Mushroom stool. <gasps> Imagine if they did like a mushroom stool throwback to The Sims 1 and Making Magic, where you had to like find all the mushroom stools or you had to sit on them. No, you had to go up to all of them, I think. They said that llama wool will make knitting cheaper. Oh, that's right. So the link between Nifty Knitting and this pack is that if you have llama wool, then you won't have to pay as much to knit something with the knitting pack. Feed the cow Skittles. And then this little bunny jumps up and it says bye by September 2nd to get gnome on the go bonus content. So this is interesting because obviously this is to drive early sales um, up to September 2nd. And if you do that, you can get this rideable scenic commuting bicycle. You can get onward the adventurous gnome statue and the Bramblewood's delightful tree, which has like a little fairy door at the bottom. Oh, I think most people, it never sits well with them when uh, any games do these kind of incentives. My only issue with it is that it sucks that once that early time is gone, you can't get these items. So someone who might discover the pack like in a year's time they won't ever be able to get the items, which sucks. So I, I don't know, I feel like that's the only part that makes me sad. But I don't, I don't know. I just don't really get as upset or have as strong opinions when any games, like Sims or any game, does this kind of thing. I don't know. I'm just like. If I can't afford it, I won't get it. Or if I don't want it, I won't bother getting it. I guess I'm pretty black and white in that sense. Like, I'm like, okay, whatever. But I do want these items. And it'd be a shame, like, say, if you're in a position where you can't buy it now and you need to save up for it later, that you can't get it later. What do you guys think? As long as it's not something super exclusive on new gameplay, it doesn't burn me out that much. Yeah, I mean, the bicycle is, like, out of gameplay. Because if you don't have university, a bicycle is a pretty big deal. So that that is a bit like, oh, they're really trying to get you to buy it. <laughs> they're wanting to entice you. I just wish you could get it late, at a later date as well. Or maybe it was like a bonus version of the pack or something. I don't know. The bike is the one that hurts. I agree. I think, yeah, maybe they shouldn't have done the bike. Maybe they could have just done. But then again, then no one would really care. And that's how they get you. I agree with you. I don't have things like the rainbow plum bob lights and the family portrait that could have been downloaded way back. Yeah. I don't know. I've just never gotten that mad about that kind of thing. But then other people 
really, it really does bother them. Everyone's different, I guess. They are very cute there. I know Dr. Gluon wants the gnome. I can't afford to buy full price. I only buy from sales. Yeah. I mean, obviously, reviewing packs is a job. I would usually get things like, well, I don't know if I'll get these. I might not get these. Um, but I'll obviously get the packs given to me to review. But prior to doing this as a job, um, I definitely couldn't afford all the packs. And I didn't, I never had all the Sims packs except for the Sims 1. I did get the complete collection eventually. But like Sims 2, I, I had to pick and choose. And Sims 3, I picked and choose. I never had pets in my Sims. So I get it. You just, you know, you can't get everything. Well, most people can't. I really want the tree the most. I'm such a sucker for trees and fairy lights. <laughs> I also think that the tree with the little door has prompted people to think that there are fairies or a new occult in the game, but I don't think if there was a whole new occult, this wouldn't be a special item, I don't think. It would be like part of the pack. Um, I think it's just meant to be like a cute little tree. Actually, it might be a massive tree. It's probably like a full size tree. I really want the bike though. Did you see the cow guy? I saw the cow guy. The cow guy is my favorite thing ever. Now, where was this pond you guys were talking about with the kids swimming? I missed it. You said it was the second farm scene. Where does the kid swim in the pond? <laughs> Choosing which pack to prioritize is like picking your favorite children. It's also a thing that a lot of games have done for decades at this point. Though other games have it as a pre-order incentive only. So it's nice that you can still get after the game is out. Yeah, I feel like it's pretty stocker standard. It's on the pack blog notes. It is the picture. Uh, it's one of the renders. Really? Wait, I gotta see this. Let me see. Oops. Hold on, you guys. I want to see this. Okay, so this is the render of everyone cooking in the kitchen. Here's another knitted looking sweater. Oh, that's so cute. If we're talking about the kid in the pond, it's in the trailer. What? I didn't see it in the trailer. I didn't see it. Love this little outfit. Oh my gosh, look at that. The little, the cow outfit's so cute here. It's at 20 seconds in the trailer. Oh, here we go. So it does show a kid in the pond here, wading into it. So it looks like your Sims can swim in the ponds. I did not think they would do that. I'm impressed. I did not expect that at all. I love this wisteria. So that looks like, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, okay, so that's an object, that's an object. That's an object, I think. 
There's my plant. There's my plant I'm excited for. A basket. Ooh, that looks like a nice hair. The duckies. Oh, I love ducks. I want to go to a farm. Oh, that's a nice little touch. Not sure if you guys can see that, but that little window is slightly cracked. Thanks, Britt. That's really nice. Um, so this lady's, she's got herself the early, the early order bike and the early order tree and the gnome. And this guy's like, ooh, present. You can get the bonus gnome on the go digital content. Wait, what? Wait, is this like a light? <sighs> or have they just highlighted the objects for them to stand out? I think they've just like highlighted the objects. Tiny door, isn't it cute? Yeah. There's a tiny door on the tree. I wonder if it does anything. I feel like it doesn't. Okay, I also wanna just go back to the trailer. I, I'm, you know when you miss something and you're like, well, I have to see where it is. That's me. Like I can't not know where it is. Let's go to 20 seconds. You mean this? No, this is what, no, no, no. So this I thought is just built into the world. I didn't think this was the pawn tool. But I think the picture on the blog looks like it is. You hope the door is gnome sized. It would be so cute to make an overgrown area with the tree and a bunch of garden gnomes. That would be so cute. That would be really cute. Maybe you can knock on the door. I feel like it's just gonna be a tree with a, you know, I, I feel like it's just a decorative object. I don't think it'll do anything. But if it does, I'll be stoked. It's a cultural thing. Here in the Netherlands, we also use it as a garden decor item. There's a pond on the farm which a child is swimming in. This is, I think it's just that picture. Because it's not here. There's no kids swimming here. And then we don't see another pond in the trailer. I think it's from the blog, you guys. I knew I wouldn't miss that in the trailer. I knew it. <laughs> Love this. It's so pretty. See, this looks like whether all swimming, maybe. I don't know, but it looks like you can, you can swim in ponds, which is awesome. Um, I need to go pee pee quickly. So what I might do is just play the trailer again while I go pee. And I might just put it on repeat, so. Okay, I'll be 